Okay, so starting off with the wide grip pull-ups. I really love this exercise, uh, mainly because you're utilizing the muscles that would be required to, to do the front lever. So these are the rhomboids, the traps, the lats, the triceps. So building the necessary strength to hold you in a horizontal position. Just remember, with the wide grip pull-ups, technique is important. Uh, so ensure as you're descending uh, to fully extend your arms out, so your arms are straightened. So as you're coming back up towards the bar, make sure your chest is aiming at the bar and you've got your shoulder blades uh, retracting, so it's basically you're pinching your shoulders together. Uh, and also remember that your chin needs to be above the bar. If you can do comfortably 10 reps for say 3 sets, uh, then you've got a good foundation to build upon uh, with your progression with the front lever. The other benefits with the wide grip pull-ups is that you'll be working on your hand and forearm strength. The dead hang, very simple exercise, basically you're suspending yourself from the bar. Uh, what you want to do is keep your arms straight and retract your shoulder blades. So you're basically pinching your shoulder blades and then releasing. And do that a couple of times until you feel you have the necessary strength to progress to the next movement. Knee raises, great little exercise for working on the core. Uh, you can start off with the 90 degree angle, so basically your knees are not passing your hips. Uh, but if you feel that's that's easy, then you can progress into the knees to chest. For good technique, you don't want to swing as you're bringing up your knees. A good target for the knee raises is 10 reps for 3 sets. Toes to bars, an awesome exercise to build the core. Uh, just remember, keep your arms straight and reduce the amount of swing as you're bringing your feet up towards the bar. If you do feel like you're swinging out of control, point your toes to the ground until you stop swinging and then continue with your toes to bars. Once again, aim for 10 reps for 3 sets. The next exercise is the negative tucks. Okay, so begin by starting your feet at the bar and then slowly descending down. Uh, make sure your arms are straight and you're engaging your triceps, your teres major and minor, and also your lats. Once you feel comfortable with the negative tuck, you can then start experimenting with bringing out one leg uh, and then you can alternate with that leg. And once you find that comfortable to do, then you can start with two legs doing the straddle. What has helped me progress with the front lever is using assisted bands. If you shop on Amazon or eBay, uh, you'll find a lot of sellers selling bands uh, with all different uh, resistant levels. The one I got was a pack of five and it had five different resistant levels. Find which resistant band suits you at your level and then once you feel comfortable with doing five reps, say three sets, uh, then you can start progressing down to a lower resistant band. So a lot of the previous exercises that we've been doing is mainly a negative or descending movement. So to balance that out, uh, with the assisted bands, we're doing an ascending movement. This is great because it creates a balance within your movements and also your strength. <laughs> 